Dropping, tripping, you know, a little so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we've just explored this massive old building. It was originally accommodation in the 60s, 60s architecture, even though it looks quite modern, but it's just been abandoned ever since uh, it just wasn't sustainable so they took all the valuable elements of it out with the metals and the glass and well they smashed the glass i'm not sure who they is but people and now it has been left as an abandoned building but it's super cool as you have seen in the footage but the weird thing was i was, I was just um going that direction by the way i'm not sure if this will be a video or what but this is today's the end of Tuesday, just going towards a campsite place. And I, I came across the two people who I had dinner with the other night at the top of the hill in Havar. So that's why we, I, I didn't even know this place existed. Uh, I'd gone past it. And then they said, oh, come with us, come look at the, the abandoned building. So we came back and have a look. They've gone off that way, I'm going off that way. So I said goodbye again. And yeah, it's amazing, pretty cool. I sometimes like having loads of time to go from one place to another because I can just explore a little bit. So we're taking a slightly different route, we're going along the path by the sea. And people I was with suggested I go to a nice restaurant around here. Well, more like a cafe. And then there are some olive trees I can camp by later tonight. Yeah, so it's really cool. So that was a really good fun bit of mountain biking. Obviously couldn't feel much because I was a bit preoccupied, but quite technical, really good fun. And now we've ended up on a more civilized path and beach resorts. Oh, I do need to stop off at a cafe soon. I can't remember what the guy was called, so I'm going to call him Nick. But what Nick was saying, I have now managed to match up. I've just passed a restaurant which he recommended, where I can get Wi-Fi, go to the toilet and all that good stuff. It's actually past where the campsite is. I, I think I flew past the campsite, I'm not sure how, but I did. And I'm basically in Makarska. In fact, this probably is Makarska. The villa I'm staying at is just on top of the hill behind here. But he did also say that there are some olive trees where I can see. So I'm going to go a bit further forward and see if I can find a wild camping spot. It's still quite early, only like one or two o'clock. But I'm going to find this spot and then go back to the restaurant and spend a few hours there just chilling and doing stuff on my phone. And then I'll go back to the spot and then go up to the villa tomorrow morning. That is Makarska. Absolutely beautiful. So what Nick was saying, I've actually got a bit lost now. The restaurant place was right over there, right in the distance. I went past a nice hotel. And so I was very tempted to go for a swim and have a shower there. But I've kept going round the beach and I've ended up on this split. No, nope. I've ended up on this spit in split. Actually, it might not be a spit, it's just a, it's probably just a bay. It's the edge of the bay. Okay, my geography's not great. Um, and it's quite woody. So I'm actually going to have a look up here to see if I can stay the night up here. So I was just up here trying to find somewhere to sleep and to be honest I don't think there is much. It's a very nice walking area 
for people to walk. But I heard some English people talking, so I just <laughs> started talking to them and we had a really nice conversation for 20 minutes. And I've got into a bit of a habit of doing that. As soon as I hear someone speaking English and I know that they're from England, I just like to have a conversation. And it's really nice. And you might be watching because I gave you my YouTube channel on your request. So yeah, that was lovely. And it's just so relaxing here, it's really nice. But I do need to make a plan of what I'm gonna do because I don't have anywhere to, to go to sleep tonight. And... Can't really be bothered to find anywhere, that's the main issue. <laughs> I just wanna relax. I mean, I, to be honest, I always tend to just sleep in the bushes down there, but probably not wise because there are people walking past. Right, I found the place Nick was talking about. The olive trees are just through there and there's some dodgy caravans in that area. But the great thing about olive trees is that you can really just hide yourself because it goes quite far back. It's on flat ground and yeah, no one will be able to see you. So really ideal for camping. Probably won't put the tent up, but I will definitely go and have a little lie down over there as I've done in previous nights. But by lying down, I mean sleeping. And the restaurant I went to earlier, I'm not sure if I talked about that, I don't know if I did. Uh, it's just down there. So I can spend the next three hours until it gets dark and then head over there for a sleep. And the villa is just up there. So all sorted. Nice. Okay, this is what I'll be doing now, what I tried to do at the end of the last video. I will end the video here because I can upload the video at the cafe restaurant place. And then the next video will be the start of the holiday adventure video. If anything else happens, I'll just chuck it on the end of this video and I won't bother with an outro. <laughs> Alright, okay.